So we just got our wall walker scaffolding in the mail today. And a special thanks to Paul Riley for hooking us up with his scaffolding. But we're gonna unbox it tonight and get it ready. And then tomorrow I'm gonna take it out to the job. We're gonna set it up, clip some rafter tails and put on some fascia boards. I was initially turned on to this product to help us save time on high work around overhangs. We build on extremely steep terrain where it is difficult or near impossible to use boom trucks or lifts. Up until now we've been using conventional scaffolding or ladder jacks which can be time consuming and difficult to set. Okay, so we've got these things all assembled. It took about 15 minutes, pretty easy instructions, no problem. And I'm really excited about how much time we're gonna save tomorrow now that we have these wall walkers and we can simply hook over a top plate to run our walk boards for doing stuff on fascias. Got a little gift in the mail from wall walkers last night. And they are wondering what it is. Yeah, tell us how it works. All right, so we've got a wall walker scaffold, OSHA approved. Uh, so basically the premise of this thing is that it hooks right here on top of your wall plate, hangs down, pushes on the wall at the bottom, and then you set a walk board across this bottom brace. And then, well, you already figured it out. Lock it. Yeah, the walk board locks in here. And then this bracket right here is a rail and um, it actually has these loops that two by fours will go through to make a nice railing between two of these. So uh, that's it. I think it's made out of aluminum. Very nifty. This is also adjustable on these notches. So we can slide this up and down to get the right height below our fascia while we're working. And uh, we're gonna start on number seven notch guys, wherever that is, because that's what John Roberts recommended. Okay, first thing we're gonna do here is set this gap to the correct width for the top of our wall plate plus sheeting, which would be five and a half plus a half, six inches. So we're gonna take that pin out and move it down. Perfect, now we get a hair over six inches. That'll hook right over top of our wall plate. Wall walkers are light enough to easily pull into position with a rope, or in some cases you can simply reach out a window opening to position it. What do you think guys? Looks great. Super easy. Once two brackets are in position, walk boards and rails are easily placed for access to the overhang. These brackets are rated for 250 pounds each, which gives you 500 pounds total for a setup of two. Slidable clamps with wing nuts secure the walk boards for use. And as a special note, there are also walk boards specifically made for wall walkers, and these are available at scaffoldmart.com. We'll be reviewing the setup with these on a later video. done putting our fascias on we're going to move this bracket up a couple notches to get higher and we can then stand on this and put our first row of sheeting on the roof super easy that's a wrap for today and for this video thanks again to wall walkers for sending us a scaffolding to try out we really enjoyed it and we're going to continue to use it as much as we can don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you'll get notifications when we put up our new content all right i'm going to give a special thanks to jennings builder supply out of franklin for getting us all of our lumber up this awesome road what do you think of this road uh, it's rough it's rough do you think your I'll dodge is gonna make it it ain't gonna make it <laughs> <laughs> should have bought a ford i guess nah. no no <laughs>